You Auburn fans, it's your day to get excited as SEC Media Days finished up with the Tigers. Way 31 has had you covered all week, especially when it comes to our local talent. Mary Lee Melendez is in Atlanta with who could be turning heads this season from the Tennessee Valley. Auburn fans came out to Atlanta oh to get a glimpse of their favorite Tigers, but this little guy may have stolen the show as the most spirited fan. Welcome back to the College Football Hall of Fame here in Atlanta, wrapping up the final day of SEC Media Days. Today we heard from the Auburn Tigers, your SEC West champs, and we've got some local guys in the mix to make a big impact come September. Auburn sophomore and Muscle Shoals alum Jordan Peters expected to play a big role in the Tigers secondary this season. Coming off his true freshman season with a play that turned heads, covering now Atlanta Falcon wide receiver Calvin Ridley in the Iron Bowl, stopping the tide on a crucial third down. When I looked over that, it wasn't a doubt in my mind that he had the ability to do it and that he had the confidence to do it. He made the play, you know, he got up inside of the turn. It was a big third down stop for our team, so I, I, I look for some big things for him coming up this season. Known as an elusive, hard-hitting safety when he played for the Trojans, a versatile nickel for the Tigers, even as a true freshman, he racked up 20 tackles, one sack, and a forced fumble. Coach Malzahn saying today Tigers defensive coordinator Kevin Steele is already planning for his impact come this season. Jordan Peters has the flexibility to play all. You know, uh, he played nickel primarily in the spring. Uh, you know, you're talking about a, a freshman that got big game experience. He's a very talented young man, and I know Coach Steele has a, has a good plan for him. And we're also going to be keeping a close eye on true freshman Asa Martin. He's out of Decatur. He went to Austin High. He was Alabama's Gatorade Player of the Year. He's going to be competing for time at running back, especially now that Carryon Johnson is out of the picture. They've got some big shoes to fill. We've got much more Auburn coverage coming up at 6 and 10 o'clock. But for now, reporting from Atlanta, Mary Lee Melendez, Way 31 Sports. Thanks, Mary.